all right guys and welcome to your 11th google chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be continuing with our series of twitter social toolkit extension development so in the last tutorial we learned about how to create and get the selected text of the user with the help of uh, this context menu so now let's learn how to differentiate between different context menus in chrome we have selection link image I guess link image selection and we have one more uh, let me grab my thoughts selection link image and what we have yeah page so we have and we do have many more but these four are the major ones and the ones we will be using in this extension so these four work as follows the selection one as the name suggests would appear when a user selects a certain text and right clicks here so this one fires on the selection one which is the current one the link one fires when a user clicks right clicks on a link the image one fires when user right clicks on an image and the page one fires when the user clicks anywhere on the page anywhere instead of these three so one way of uh, setting all of this information to the four ones would be like doing four copies of context menus but this creates kind of a mess so what we'll do is we'll be using for loop so to do that first of all let's create context list and uh, let's set each to selection link image and page all right and now we need a for loop for i equals zero as less than context context list dot length and just i plus plus so here we go and down here we'll declare some variables I want the title to be social toolkit or let's say Twitter toolkit all, only Twitter toolkit and share this and then we'll do some dynamic stuff let's create another variable context which says context list I'll explain everything what I'm doing right now share this context on your Twitter profile and we'll want to have uh, nothing show sure, it up I'll just name it title X because we already have title down here so we have got title X context as the context one and on click my function okay so what we are doing here is in a for loop we are basically creating a variable context and get with this variable stores each of these values for per loop so in the first uh, run of this loop context would have selection and title would be twitter toolkit share this selection on your twitter profile for every selection and the context menu dot create would uh, inherit or basically grab all these all this information we have set in the loop so now in this function we need something something to have to differentiate between the selection link image and page context so we'll assign an id down here id and we'll just set it to context now what would happen is this id would contain this uh, one of these four information so when this function is called we could actually grab this id and verify this function is called for which purpose so let's say switch selected or just rename to data because we have now instead of selected text a lot of stuff switch select or data dot menu item id now what it does is the caps tells the chrome to differentiate this id from this so basically it would grab this id that means this id down here into 
this uh, data dot menu item ID so every time it would return a different ID based on the user uh, what the user is doing actually so we are switching data dot menu item ID and for the first case we have selection if the ID is selection then we want let's see we want chrome tabs create URL instead uh, we want text here and let's break this thing the next thing we want selection is link again let's copy this and let's replace text with URL and data to selection text with link URL now this gives us the URL of the ahref link again let's break out of select now and the case should be now image so the image should give us src url img src if you remember let's break out of this uh, in case of page we'd like to grab the title of the page but how we'll do that i'll explain that in the next tutorial but for now let's just hard code this my my page so we can see that it's actually working so here we go and let's break this out and I guess we are ready so let's reload our extension down here and here we go the selection one first or just let's go to Google to keep the things clear because okay so let's select this text right click whoa where's the selection text so my function context list create title x let's see what's wrong with the background script okay uncut error invalid value for argument one property context expected array but got string context list array okay sorry this context down here accepts an array but we actually gave it a string so you have to put angular brackets with that and let's see if it's okay now yeah and let's select this text and right click and we've got this selection and you notice the title says share the selection now selection is dynamically grabbed here context by this list and uh, this selection fires only when the user selects something and right clicks on it so here we go text says google.co.in slash offered whatever we selected here so far so good now supposingly I want to share this link now I right click on this link and like a magic our context menu says Twitter toolkit share this link on your Twitter profile and here we go we have this URL right here cool the next thing we had is an image yeah so this is an image uh, this is basically a background image we need something yeah my profile photo would do no and maybe this let's search for an image uh, I'll just go with this okay so right clicking on this we get Twitter toolkit share this image on your Twitter profile so just like this we copy the URL of this image automatically into the URL of Twitter so when you will share this the image would automatically pop up in your timeline and about the page then we get right click anywhere on this and we get Twitter toolkit share this page on your Twitter profile now to uh, grab the title of the page could be a bit time consuming and explanatory so I have currently hard coded this as my page only and in the next tutorial we will be learning about how to uh, enhance this code and make it a little better so stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching